Hello everybody, today I'm going to present crystals, crystal growth, and nucleation. So what are crystals? Crystals are solids in which the atoms are arranged in a three-dimensional repeating periodic structure. If we think of crystals in a purely geometric sense and forget about the actual atoms, we can use a concept known as a point lattice to represent a crystal. There are obviously a number of different lattice arrangements in unit cell that can be constructed. It was shown, however, in 1848 by Bravais that there are only 14 possible point lattices that can be constructed. Here I have on the slide are some familiar crystal structure that we have learned in class, such as body center cubic, face center cubic, but there's also additional lattice uh, point that was constructed that you might not be familiar with. Some of the most common crystal are quartz and bismuth. Crystallization from solution can be thought of as a two-step process. The first step is the phase separation or birth of new crystal. The second step is the growth of these crystals to larger size. These Two processes are known as nucleation and crystal growth, respectively. In order for crystals to grow, we need a supersaturated solution. A supersaturated solution is not at equilibrium, so in order to relieve the supersaturation and move towards equilibrium, the solution crystallizes. So once crystallization starts, um, however, the supersaturation can be relieved by a combination of nucleation and crystal growth. So there's are a couple of different mechanisms for nucleation, which include primary and secondary. There are homogeneous and heterogeneous uh, nucleation in primary mechanism and in initial breeding, polycrystalline breeding, macroabrasion, dendritic fluid shift, and contact on the secondary nucleation mechanisms. As we have seen in the previous section, the birth of a new crystal, which we have called nucleation, refers to the beginning of the phase separation process. The solid molecules have formed the smallest size particles possible under the conditions present. So the next phase of the crystallization process is for those nuclei to grow larger by addition of solute molecules from the supersaturated solution. This part of the crystallization process is known as crystal growth. Crystal growth along with nucleation controls the final particle size distribution obtained in the system. In addition, the conditions and rate of crystal growth have a significant impact on the product purity in the crystal habit. An understanding of crystal growth theory and experimental techniques for examining crystal growth from solution are very important and useful in the development of industrial crystallization processes. Crystallization is an important separation and purification process used in industries ranging from bulk commodity chemicals to specialty chemicals and pharmaceuticals. In recent years, a number of environmental applications have also come to rely on crystallization in waste treatment and recycling processes. So, how do you grow crystal then? Um, I have done a experiment at home that's very easy and fun. Um, all you need is borax and some pie cleaner um, and most of the other things you probably have already have at home which is a pot of water and maybe a chopstick or a pencil. Um, the next slide will be a video that I've prepared to give a tutorial of how you can grow your own crystal at home. But I hope you enjoy! All you need is a boiling pot of water and you want to take it off the stove, add in some borax and so you can't mix in more borax. Then add some food coloring of choice. Here I'm using chlorophyll because I didn't have any food coloring on hand. Then you just want to dunk your uh, twisted pipe cleaner suspended on a chopstick down and just dunk it a couple times so that you can get rid of the air bubbles. Then cover it with aluminum foil and wait overnight. 
this is the next morning i actually got my pipe cleaner to get stuck to the bottom but i was able to pull the solution out and here's the result this is a crystal you can grow i hope you have fun